What is going on, guys? It is that time of the year. Once again, it feels like we just did this yesterday, I know, it's but crazy. we are back with the top 21 wheels of 2021, 2021 baby. Woo! So that means we are going to go on over the 21 wheels that we think are going to do really well in 2021. But there is a quick little disclaimer ahead of time before we want to get in. You want to give them the disclaimer? Yeah, so what it is, is all you guys always get a little uptight about this <laughs> list. Now, these aren't the best wheels. They're not necessarily all of our favorite wheels, but right. these are the wheels that we expect to be the most common and the most popular ones we see on our website when you guys go on there clicking mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So that's our little disclaimer. Some of these wheels though are absolute yeah, bangers that really we good. generally love and some of our favorites. Yeah. So stay tuned. And if any wheel didn't make the list, comment down below. But guess what? We have a tradition for the third year running. Joe, you know what we got to do. Three years for happy anniversary. We got to chug some beers. <laughs> All right, so starting out strong, number 21 <laughs> of the list. Like I said, we're starting out strong. It is the Workmeister S1, Ooh. more specifically the three-piece variant. So yes. if you guys don't know, we have work wheels available on Finman Industries right now. It's kind of a new addition that we got. So you can go check them out. But these wheels, you know, they're an all-time classic, right? Yep. The Workmeisters, they're fantastic wheels. The S1s being an all-time favorite. The three piece just making it that much better. Yeah. They're coming in right around, the, starting off around that three grand mark. It's kind of why it's at the bottom of the list, yeah, just because of that pricey. heavy price point. But I think, you know, we're going to see a lot of them this yeah, year. Yeah. If you're looking at three piece wheels, the work Meister is just a classic. Yeah. Coming in at number 20, we have Ow. the Cosmos Racing XT206R. Wheel slap is my thing. That's why it hurts you. Yeah. You'll be doing that. <laughs> All right. So see, this nice. is a common favorite this was on our list last year as well because it is just a spectacular design and it comes at a pretty affordable price mm. at around the 11 to 1200 dollar range these really do look good on a lot of cars now i'm going to tell you with a more negative offset these really shine yeah, the more negative the offset the the lower the offset you can get on these that's when they look good when they come out and start being a positive offset it kind of changes the look of the wheel almost yeah still a super solid wheel i like it comes in cool finishes which is a plus and then yeah it's just a solid wheel for whatever you're putting it on. All right, coming in hot at number 19, we got the Enki TS10. Ooh. Now, this is a very popular, very, very popular Enki wheel, actually. So if you're looking for something that's not actually cresting over that $1,000 mark for right around like 18, nine and a half or something, mm -hmm. the TS10 is a great answer. It's a good multi-spoke wheel. It's pretty simplistic. It's gonna clear your big brakes and all that sort of good stuff. You're gonna get the Enki name, yep. but it's not a ton of money. So it's a very, very popular wheel for those looking to run the set of NKs you don't wanna run like an RPF1 or don't wanna spend a ton of money. So I think it's a fantastic fantastic wheel for coming in at number 19. Exactly. In 2021, I'm seeing a lot of thin spoke designs be popular. You know, people want to clear those big brakes and still look functional and a little spicy. <laughs> All right, coming in at number 18, we have another NK on the list. It's the NK Rajan. So this one's very similar to the last one we talked about, the yep. TS10, just in that same price range bracket. But this one's a little bit busier. We got a little bit more spokes mm -hmm. on there. Get this split spoke design. Yeah, yeah, I do like this one a little bit more personally than the TS10. Mm -hmm. I just like that busier design. Sure. Um, but it's functional, looks good, and it's affordable. Just another reason why NK is on the list. Coming in hot number 17, we get a BBS wheel Ooh. on the list. And this is none other than the BBS CHR. Now the BBS CHR is an extremely popular wheel in the Euro community, especially with yeah. like the, the GTIs and the Audi S4s and stuff like that, because they can get down in those smaller widths and offsets, like that eight and a half plus 35, which seems to be like the perfect size for those. And they still look really good. So it's a split spoke, multi-spoke design. Yep. You know, they, they offer, a, you know, just a really good fitment and a really good look for 
for those Euro cars. So a lot of people who have those like early 2000s Volkswagens and Audis are really gonna love these. And they're not, you know, crazy expensive. When people think BBS wheels, you know, think they're spending like over like three grand for a yeah. set of wheels. That's not the case with the CHR. So if you're looking for an entry level BBS wheel, that is definitely one that you can check out. Not only that, it has a little interesting fact about it, but they have a rim protector that goes around the edge of the wheel yeah. and it's actually interchangeable that way. If you curb your wheels or anything like that, you can pull off just this edge of the rim protector, peel it off and you can put on a new one. That way you don't damage your wheel at all because we know it, yeah. it happens Helps here and there. rock chips and stuff too. It's a really nice feature. For sure. All right, coming up to number 16, we have the Koenig Ampliform. Now this baby is a classic. This is one we see all the time in the gallery. Super good looking wheel. And this one's just over a grand and you're getting a rotary forged wheel. So this is gonna be a little bit stronger, a little bit lighter than your cast wheel. So you're getting a little more bang for your buck with this one. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you sacrifice any looks for it. This wheel looks great with the spokes diving back and then coming all the way out to the edge of the wheel. I think it looks Fantastic. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Koenig wheels. Uh, the Ampliform has always had a, you know, a place in my heart. I think they look good on uh -huh. a lot of different vehicles. The sizes Joke. that they come into are, are really good for a lot of modern like JDM uh, cars and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna continue to see the Ampliform year after year kind of finding a spot on it. For list. sure. If you want to win a set of Koenig wheels, we have a giveaway going on with them right now. We There's partnered with Koenig. Right Pick up a piece of our apparel on the website, fitministries.com forward slash giveaway. Get entered to win. Maybe you can get yourself a set of Ampliforms for free. Bringing us to wheel number 15 of the list, we get to the good old Adhan DS02. Now again, this is another one of those wheels that's popped up on the list every year after year after year, and it's for a good reason. It's because not only are these wheels, you know, perfect for those with like the uh, Genesis Coupes yeah. and like 350 and 370Zs because of the sizes that they offer, but they're also extremely affordable. Coming in right at like 750, like $800 for a set of like 18 by nine and a half, all the way up to like like 18 by 11. So yeah, some of these get wide freaking big so like i said your genesis coupes your 370z's these guys love these wheels because they're an affordable wide option for those cars which they absolutely need so the dso2 you know it's got that classic styling to it it's an affordable wheel it fits good they got a lot of finishes i i think we're going to continue to see it on this list moving forward definitely your entry level yes. wheel and that's why it's so popular just because you can scoop them up at those low prices absolutely so if you're in that budget this is a great option check it out Coming in at number 14, we have the Option Lab R716. Now, this is another super affordable. You're going to keep hearing that because mm -hmm. that's what's popular, stuff people can afford. Yeah. The Option Lab R716. Now, this is a very cool looking wheel, especially with the bronze finish. I think it really pops. Bronze does look good, yeah. Not yeah. only that, uh, coming in at rate around eight to $900 for a set, but it's super popular in not only the FRS community, but the Focus SD community too, because these puppies do come in a five by 108, which isn't terribly common. Uh, it's getting better, but this is a great option if you are running a Focus ST or FRS because they're gonna come in the sizes you need, they're gonna come in the bolt patterns you need, and they're not gonna break the bank. So if that checks your boxes, check out the R716. All right, up next we have the Adhan DS07. So Adhan making another appearance on this list. So what people really, really love about the DS07 is the fact that you do get that multi-piece look. Now, even though this is a cast wheel, a single piece wheel, they do have that hardware on there to give it that multi-piece look. So you can get that kind of style without really breaking the bank. So again, that $750, $800 mark, you're getting the wide sizes, you're getting the cool finishes, all that sort of good stuff. The wheel looks really good and again, that 370Z Genesis market is mm -hmm. gonna absolutely love these. So again, another Adhan on the list. All right, coming in at number 12, we have the Conte KMP. This is one of my personal love favorites. Yeah. I love Conte as a brand. They're pulling out some cool they're in the drift community. And then we got the Patrick wheel, the five spoke. <laughs> yeah. uh, it comes in cool finishes. I really do like the bronze the finish bronze on it a lot. And not only that, it's right around 1000 to 1100 bucks, which keeps it right in that like perfect price range where it's not too expensive. But I absolutely love the designs coming out of Conte. No surprise that they're making it back on the list this year. Go check out the KMP. All right, up next, we got the Grand Light 57D. 
R. So Ooh. the six spoke wheel from Graham Lights from Ray's Engineering. This is an absolutely killer wheel. I love these wheels so much. Doing the DR and the CR. I think the DR takes the cake just for me just a little bit more. So it's a six spoke wheel. They're made by Ray's Engineering. So if you want that Ray's, you know, just hype a little yep, bit. Yep. You can get that on the wheel for not too much of a bad price. So they're coming in right around 1700 to 1800 bucks here, depending on the size and everything like that. They're an absolutely fantastic wheel. They look great. They fit on pretty much everything. They have like almost every size manageable and like the offsets are perfect. Their, their fitments are really, really good in these wheels. And like I said, if you're looking to get a wheel with some Rays engineering uh, branding on it. It's a great way to do it without breaking the bank. JDM is <laughs> All right, number 10, we have the F1R F1. Top 10, two, baby. One. So this is a banger wheel. Tons of finishes on yes. this one. A uh, little bit crazier designs than the other ones. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit of a mesh face, kind of getting towards that route. And then you got a decent lip on there. But the craziest part about this wheel is it's coming right between that $600 to $700 mark. So making these extremely affordable while still giving you the options for finishes and cool sizes. So that's in your realm of possibility, check it out. All right, coming in at number nine, we're gonna flex a little bit, just a little tiny bit, because you know what, we deserve it because this is one of our very own. This is one of the Artisa Art Form Wheels lineup. This is the Artisa Knight. We are predicting, you know, you know, hoping that this thing's gonna do pretty dang well. So not only are you getting this really, really good, like curve, multi-spoke look to this wheel, but you're getting this fantastic, what we're calling Picasso Blue finish as well. So this is the only, uh, the only wheel in the lineup that comes in this finish. And the best thing about these wheels, not only are they rotary forged, and not only are they lightweight, coming in 19.1 pounds per wheel. They are light. Off. Let me pick up this bad Yeah, yeah that is light, literally but they're also what we're calling deco directional. So both sides of the car are gonna have the wheels turning the same direction, which is absolutely huge. We think that's really important. We think weight is gonna play an important factor in wheels coming up here. We think people are gonna start caring about their wheel weight a little bit more, hopefully. So 19.1 pounds starting off is awesome. pretty damn competitive. So these bad boys too, they're starting off right around $1,020 per set. They're coming in size of wild. 18 by nine and a half up to an 18 by 10 and a half with a plus 22, plus 15 offset. So it's absolutely crazy. We're really excited to bring these to the world. For sure, the concave looks awesome. The swooping yeah. design on this Artisa specifically, it really, you get that directional feel. And not only that, it's gonna be clearing all your big brakes. That's what Artisa had in mind while making these wheels. So definitely worth checking out and they're new to the game for 2021. That was good. All right, coming at number eight, we have the Rohana RFX 11. Now this is an absolutely stunning and gorgeous wheel. I love all the details in the spoke design with these. Now, as cars get newer in 2021, we're seeing bigger and bigger Big body boys. designs. That's what these wheels are meant for coming in the 19 to 20 mm -hmm. and bigger sizes like that. That's what these puppies are meant for. You're not gonna see these in your 17s or 18s. Again, 19 and up is what these are going for. You're gonna see more around that 1800 to $2,000 range, but you're getting a quality wheel mm -hmm. and it just looks phenomenal with multiple different finishes to check out as well. Yeah, Rohana does a really good job on their finishes and these are also a Rotary Forge wheel as well. So they do a good job in keeping that strength to weight ratio. So you're getting a bigger wheel, but you're not getting like really heavy with the weight either. So like we talked about before, I think weight is gonna be you know pretty key in the upcoming years. So I think Rohana's already a little bit ahead of that, especially with the bigger sizes. So RFX 11, good to go. Moving on in wheel number seven of the list, or sorry, wheel number seven on the list, we get to the Koenig Hypergram. So again, Koenig making multiple appearances on the list for 2021. So the Hypergram, it's been around for a little bit. It's been doing really well. A lot of people love these for a very like function-based wheel, function look, function base. So these uh, hypergrams, they look really, really good with like yeah. a really meaty tire setup. They make me hyper. They make him hyper, all right? <laughs> it's not the beard, it's the hypergram. No. Hypergram. So like I said, with a meaty tire setup, these things can look absolutely killer. So like your WRXs, your STIs, those kind of vehicles, these look absolutely killer. I think uh, Zach Rashid, one of our customer yep. service reps, had him on his STI for a while, they looked really good. Hell yeah. Functional and at a good cost. That's what Koenig's all about. So make sure to take a look at those. That was a better real slab than the beginning. We're all now. Coming in at number six, we have F1R popping up once again. We have the F29 now. 
with this design, we got another rotational design going on, a bit of a twist. Now with these ones, these are pretty affordable. So as you can see, we got multiple uh, bolt pattern options with this wheel to keep costs down. And then also with that, uh, the wheel won't be going the same direction on both sides. But the good news is these are coming between that $600 and $700 range again. So if you wanna get a twisty design at a price range like that, you could take a peek at the F1Rs coming in in multiple finishes. We do see this wheel on a bunch of different vehicles from Subarus to even some Focus STs. So if you're in that price range, take a peek. All right, coming up next, getting into our top five. Woo, we woo. got the good old classic NK RPF1. So it goes without saying, the RPF1 will classic. be a timeless yep. wheel. It pops up on just about everything. They got width, sizes, Bing offsets, bong, boop, bop, bolt patterns boop, for pretty much anything you could possibly imagine from your four bolts all the way up to your five bolts and then, you know, wide, narrow, whatever you want it to be. So NK RPF1 always, you know, is there to... Straight up dummy light. Dummy light. Dummy light. You know why that is? Because of Matt. You know what Matt did? You know what Matt did? You know what Matt did? Matt did did did. Matt did did the Matt technology or their most advanced technology technology. It's not a very good acronym. Oh, okay. All right. You know, it is what it is. But that is why, basically, it's just a, it's a forging process. Cool. So, yeah. RPF1, you know, they're coming in right around that $1,200, $1,300. Yeah, we don't got to talk about this too much longer. Literally, everybody knows about the RPF1. Let's get the next one on the list. Okay. All right, coming in at number four, we have Artisa popping up again because we have Artisa's most popular wheel so far, the Artisa Elder Baby. So this thing right here, this one we have right now is 19 by 11 plus seven. It is wide, all right? Crazy wide and it looks awesome because of the concave. I literally love the concave on this wheel. Yeah. Not only that, but it's coming in under 23 pounds, which is absolutely insane for a 19 by 11. And then the twist design, he got that because of Artisa, and you know, on both sides of the car, it's gonna be going the right direction, which absolutely. is super cool. But I do love the uh, the design of this, the multi-spokes and the twist thrown in. You got some pocket milling right there to save weight on the back and on the front. Yeah, so on the back of the spokes and everything like that too. So the 19 by 11 plus seven was designed specifically for those G35, G37, 350s, 370Z community. Our guy, Jared, is running the 19 by 11 plus seven setup, square setup all around on his G35 on air. So it looks absolutely fantastic. Like you said, the cross section of this wheel is absolutely insane. It just goes, it just keeps going. So Artist Elder, by far, probably going to be number one out of the Artist of Wheels lineup so far by everyone's uh, reaction to it. So I'm excited to see some rolling around in 2021. Dope! All right, closing in on wheel number three, we got the Avid One AV20. Now this wheel has been popular for quite some time. It's a split six boat design. You get some brake clearance and all that sort of fun stuff. But of course, one of the reasons it being near the top is again, it's one of those very affordable entry level wheels to get people into their probably like maybe first set of wheels for their car. Hell right yeah. around 700 bucks or so, you can get it in some good finishes. You got a bronze, you got like that gray, all, you know, your, your typical pretty neutral finishes, but they look good. So mm -hmm. the Avid One AV20, like like I said, a lot of people's go-to choice if they're looking at their first set of wheels for like their WRX, for the BRZ, for the Honda Civic, a lot of vehicles like that are gonna be running these wheels. Hell yeah. Coming in at number two, and it's not because we're doing a giveaway with them, it's the Koenig Decagram. Now this is a freaking awesome wheel. Deca meaning 10 spoke, baby. Big they look brain, really good. Brain. And the reason it's so popular is it comes in a wide range of sizes. So everything from your 15s, little small boys to 18s and so on. This wheel is gonna suit your needs. It looks super good. It comes in multiple different finishes from black, to silver to bronze and all that good stuff. And it's gonna come in probably any size that you want. So it's also affordable coming in under a G. Make sure to check it out. Ooh. Which leads us to wheel number one at the top of the list. So that's 21 Uno in for Spanish. 2021. I didn't know you could speak Spanish. That is amazing. Oh, wow. But that is the Avid One AV6. Now, bang, we've seen the Avid One AV6 be at the top of this list for quite a few years. I don't think cresting number one, but this last year is pretty dang close. And for yep. 2021, we think that it's gonna pull it off. So the reason being, it checks all the boxes, right? It's a classic. 
six spoke design. It comes in at an affordable price. It's readily available all the time. It comes in a wide variety of sizes. It comes in every freaking bolt pattern imaginable. It comes in every finish pretty much imaginable. And it, you know, it's just, that's what people look for when they're looking for an entry level set of aftermarket wheels. And the Avid One AV6, like I said, checks all those boxes. Yep, classic design that comes in at affordable price, hard to beat. So make sure to comment down below if you didn't see your favorite wheel on the list. I wanna hear what it is. I'm gonna read the comments. Don't forget wheels, tires, suspension, fitmentindustries.com. And if you wanna see any of these wheels, check the link in the description because we'll have it down there, baby. Hell yeah. You ready to go get a beer? Yeah, I'm gonna have a beer, another one. Right. And check out the giveaway with Tony. All right, see ya. Uh, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> <laughs> That's tradition. That's tradition.